And on to some big political face-off that is unfolding in the state of Kerala. Now, the Kerala government continues to be criticised and flagged by the opposition for its ambitious semi-high-speed rail corridor project, also known as the Silver Line project. Now, today only, the BJP leaders from Kerala met the railway minister, Ashwini Vaishnav, with a proposal for a third railway line. This as an alternative to the Kerala government's project. Now, the opposition Congress has also slammed the left government, saying that it made way for the massive corruption by borrowing huge amount as loan for the initiative. The Silver Line project, remember, is expected to reduce the travel time from Trivandrum to Kasargod to around four hours. But the centre has not given its nod to lay the stones for the project as yet. Reacting to the same, Kerala Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan had called the centre's stand against the project as quote-unquote unfortunate. And I'm being joined by my colleague Vivek live on the broadcast. Vivek, once again, the face-off over this very ambitious pet project of the Kerala CM is back in the spotlight. What's the latest that you are picking up on this political war of words? Absolutely. There is a political war of words uh, that happened between uh, the Kerala government and the, uh, and the central government. Uh, you know, on this uh, ambitious K-Rail Silver Line project. Remember, this connects the northern part of Kerala to the southern part of uh, Kerala. Now, the entire budget allocation for this pro uh, project is supposed to be 63,944. Remember, uh, the survey of this project is you know, half. Uh, now, uh, also, in, in nine districts, the survey has already been conducted and survey stones have been made in number of districts. But the Kerala High Court, uh, there, has been, there has been a petition that's been filed in the Kerala High Court by a number of families, uh, you know, who have been facing the wrath of this particular project. Remember, there has been uh, stiff resistance and opposition uh, against this project from various quarters, especially environmentalists and, 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 and you know, people, public at a large level, criticizing this project, saying that, you know, they will, uh, you know, their land has to be given to the government and they're not getting a compensation which they require. Also, what's more important here is that the center today, senior BJP leaders, uh, we believe that the union minister has met, uh, uh, I should, uh, you know, the union railway minister, uh, Ashwini Vaishnav, saying that, you know, they are now looking to propose a third railway line, a third line to be, uh, you know, uh, to be implemented. And uh, the work should start soon. Now, regarding uh, the, uh, the third line, I have spoken to the minister concerned and we, Mubidran, and uh, other uh, railway have now decided to go ahead with this particular project because the KU has now, uh, you know, the, the project, the implementation of this project has now come to a standstill because the railway uh, authorities, especially uh, the railway, All right. clearly informed the Kerala High Court that it is not possible or it's not feasible to, you know, take this project go, you know, forward in the current situation. Back to you. All right, Vivek, thank you so much for joining us with all those inputs on the story.